Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today what I'll be cooking for you guys is kushka or biryani rice and kebabs. I'm pretty sure that I'm not the only person who doesn't like chicken and biryanis because it's basically very bland, not so flavorful. So ideally what most of us tend to do is order biryani rice and kebabs along with it. But what happens is in the biryani if you don't put chicken, it doesn't taste like chicken biryani. So instead, I have an alternative for you guys where you can use chicken stock. I'll also show you guys an easier way to make chicken stock. So let's go. Now for the biryani rice ingredients, what I have here is clarified butter. I've taken some turmeric powder and coriander powder. Red chili powder. about two medium sized roughly chopped onions about one roughly chopped tomato I have one cup of jeera rice I would really recommend jeera rice because it will enhance the flavor of the biryani and then some chicken masala powder ginger and garlic paste some mint leaves I've taken some spices here like cinnamon black pepper cloves and god help you for the unlucky one who gets cardamom in the biryani some bay leaves and the most important thing here chicken stock this is maggie chicken stock You'll have two cubes in them, they're really good, they give the perfect taste like chicken stock, so do try it. Now let's just start off making the biryani rice, so what I'm doing here is first adding about two spoons of clarified butter or ghee. Once the butter turns nice and hot, I'll add the spices. Give it a mix and make sure that it doesn't burn. Then I'll add our onions. About one teaspoon each of ginger and garlic. Cook them until the onions turn a little brown. And then add the tomatoes. Now I'll show you the easiest way of making chicken stock. For one cup of rice, what I'm doing is I'm adding two cups of water. Once it turns nice and hot, I'll add those two cubes of chicken stock. Bring the water to a nice boil and stir it and then you'll have your chicken stock ready. Now let's take our attention back to the onions and tomatoes. What I'm doing is I added half teaspoon of turmeric and one teaspoon of coriander powder. About two teaspoon of chili powder. And one teaspoon of chicken masala powder. And finally one teaspoon of salt. Keep the flame low so that the masalas don't burn and then mix them all up together really well. Once the masalas and tomatoes have cooked, what I'll do is I'll add our chicken stock. Then I'll go ahead and give it a nice stir. If you don't trust me with my measurements of spices, you can go ahead and taste it and check for yourself if you want to add anything more. Then I'll wash the rice and add the rice to our cooker. Make sure you get all the rice. 
Now be very gentle while stirring your rice. And then now finally what I'll do is I'll add some pudina leaves. Give it one last gentle stir and then close our pressure cooker and then get about two whistles and then you'll have your rice perfectly ready. Now let's move on to our chicken kebab. What I have here is 500 grams of chicken with ginger and garlic paste, turmeric and coriander powder, all-purpose flour or maida, red chili powder, kebab masala powder, chicken masala powder, and finally some salt. Let's start with our marination. What I'll do is I'll add ginger and garlic paste. Then about one teaspoon of coriander powder and half teaspoon of turmeric powder. A good two teaspoon of chili powder. About one and a half teaspoon of kebab masala. Half teaspoon of chicken masala powder. And finally about, whoop, look at the whistle going there. And about three spoons of maida. With one teaspoon of salt. And then mix it up all together and you'll have your kebab marination ready. Now I've taken some oil and then I'll go ahead and start frying them. The rice is ready as well, it's done with two whistles. But what you'll need to do is you need to let it rest for some time and then open it. Cook the chicken for about 5-6 to six minutes or until it changes its color and turns completely red. Make sure you don't overcrowd the pan and don't let it stick to the bottom. So once you put your chicken, you need to let it cook for about 2 minutes and then flip it on the other side. And finally add them on a paper towel so that it can soak the excess oil and you'll have your kebabs ready. Repeat the same process for your next batch as well. And there you go, you have your kebabs ready and your kushka or biryani rice. Trust me, I was going completely nuts over the aroma of this rice and the chicken kebab. You must try this at home because it is very simple and very easy and very very flavorful. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you.